Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nader. And we're back with Rule of Rose. Um, we're doing this boss battle again, but I'm probably just gonna fast forward through it because there's absolutely no way that this is gonna be a quick battle. So, here we go. Does she, like, heal when she does that? I don't know. Maybe her vomiting is, like, a heal move. I don't know. Oh god, if it is, then she's just, like, full health right now. I wouldn't think so, though. That seems, like, a little bit too overpowered. Oh, no way, I did it. Oh, uh, what? It was a doll the whole time. Fuck yeah. What in blazes? Just who did this? Who made this mess? Was it you? Go on, tell me. Answer me, Diana. Oh god, he's a pedo. What the fuck? No new mummy or daddy will ever want you if you don't like that. Uh, I won't be angry. Just answer me. Yeah, what the hell is he doing? You were in charge after all. What the fuck? Oh shit. Yuck! How disgusting. Yeah. Totally agree. Oh, don't give me those eyes. Oh, now I see. It was you. It was your fault that I got into trouble. No, don't give her that. That's ours. No. I see a stain. I've got to clean it up, or Mr. Hoffman will be angry with me. In blazes is going on now. <laughs> what in blazes? How did we even get back to that room? What the hell? Dude, I'm <laughs> so confused. <sighs> Please don't tell me. Yeah. I'm gonna be damaged, and I'm gonna have to walk slow. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl. Tell me your tale. Well, you know what? My tale is one of cancer. Oh, yeah. Love walking slow. Go! Brown! Come! Yeah, that's right. I'm trying to get him to follow me. Please tell me I have some food in here, for God's sake. Love it. Alright, well let's just have a look in here. Wait, what? Mermaid doll. A slip of paper is peeking out of its tummy. Oh, is that the... the part of the book? I am yours even in death. Right. The book's finished. Alright. Mermaid Princess. A long, long time ago, the Mermaid Princess fell in love with a human prince. But for years her love went unrequited. Before long, she was old and decrepit. All alone, even on the day of her death. The poor, poor princess of the Sea Kingdom, 
Who'd ever want to become an ugly woman like her? I am yours, even in death. I don't think that made it any better, to be honest. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend, and so she wrote it on the chalkboard. So she'd never forget it ever again. I am yours. Everlasting true love, I am yours. Well, that's it. Yes, I will save. Let's keep going. We've got all three now. So what happens next? That is a good question. Kids gone. Um, there's not even anything to pick up in here, so we just leave. That's great. Where's Brown? Maybe he's just not allowed in here. All right, that was the Aristocrat Club. Oh, what the fuck! Damn pedos. Well, yeah, all right, I'll save again. Okay, June, the gingerbread house. Hmm. Oh. Well. Well, that's not gross at all. Hey, wait a minute, we're outside. We're not on the airship anymore. If it even was an airship, I'm pretty sure we were in the house the whole time. When the unlucky girl awoke, she was in a rose garden. The place was strange, but familiar. Looking around, the girl noticed that her faithful companion was missing. The lonely, unlucky girl became very sad. Well, only one thing to do. Maybe that guy's a nice guy. He brought us down to a rose garden. Uh, yeah, I feel like he went this way, but I want to check this anyway. It's shut and you can't go any further. Yep. As you would expect. Let's turn around. Um, yeah. So we're just following the uh, creepy guy. And we're in a forest. It doesn't seem like... I guess we should be in the backyard somewhere. Gingerbread house. Oh. Uh, okay. It's another save point. Uh, what? I, I can't... Oh. Poor helpless unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Sure, I'll save again. Like, third time in a row and nothing's happened yet. Um... Yeah, I haven't really got anything to pick up. Let's look in the mailbox. You can barely read the faded name on the old mailbox. Gregory M. Wilson. Maybe that's the guy. Oh, I didn't expect it to open. Oh, there's a pedo in here. That's for sure. The color has faded, so it's difficult to tell whether it's a drawing or a photo. Alright, screw it. I think he's in there, I can hear it. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's crazy. Okay. Uh, thanks for that, sir. What's in here? A coat with mud on it is hung in the closet along with a hat. Okay. What's in here? Hmm, there's a little doll in the bottom right. Little soldier's barracks. 
What's this? Oh shit, okay, well. <laughs> see ya. Um. Oh! This must be the room that was boarded up. Oh, it's fucking clipping like hell in there. It's Clip City. I can't. I can't go through, what? Why not? Well, that's great. I'm glad I can see in there, but can't go in. Fantastic. I'm sure I should be allowed to go in there. Uh, it's possible that I had to click on the door first. I don't know. We'll check the rest of the place. I'll just click on the door. Oh. There's all kind of junk here. Broken toys, newspapers, photos, torn up drawings, etc. It's not quite what I was looking at. Yeah, um, did you think that would work? Did you really think that would work? Wait, what the fuck? Why is he in here too? That must be some, like, memory shit. Like, flashback. What's in here? Lavatory. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. Oh. June 1929. There are strange symbols on certain days of the calendar. Yeah, I can see that. The dirty pool of water at the bottom of the tub looks almost like blood. Oh, well that's great. There's nothing in the toilet. Alright! Alrighty then. Uh, it seemed like a real good place. This Oh my god, this place is a lot bigger than I expected. Oh, another flashback from the looks of things. So it seems like he's an alcoholic. When he was in the study, he may have been writing something, so... I don't know. Shit. I'm, like, disorientated. I think that was the lavatory back there, so... What's up here? Basement. Aw, oh, shit, I don't want to go into the basement. Ah, uh, main. Oh, he's getting louder. Oh fuck, that's so creepy. What's here? Boxes of what appear to be grain, yeah. Okay. Okay. Saturday. Here we go. <gasps> oh. Ah, welcome home. It's almost bedtime for you. What the fuck? Good night, Joshua. Wait a minute. Am I Joshua or is he Joshua? Okay. A newspaper clipping is pinned up. 23rd June 1929. Luxury airship missing. England's largest luxury airship, which just set sail on its virgin flight. A flight celebrated across the country with great fanfare was reported today to have gone off course and is currently missing. It is speculated that the vessel diverted from its course to avoid a low pressure system approaching from the south, but its whereabouts are still unknown. Due to the heavy thunder and rain that have blanketed the area since yesterday, the search for the airship has faced many difficulties. Right. I thought that the airship was completely made up, but it's apparently a real thing. Oh. I was trying to look at that painting, but yeah, the door's locked. A bundle of letters were hidden under the bed of sheets. 10th November, to Mr. Joshua the Bear in Distress. My name is Wendy. I always watch you from the sky, Mr. Joshua. Why are you trapped down there? 27th November from W to J. My prince in need of rescue. It was a pleasure to meet you, my dear prince. What a wonderful encounter. Yes. I only wish there was a world for just you and I. The prince and the princess. 
Don't worry, I'll set you free. 9th January from W to J Oh, my poor, kind prince. You're worried because that man sometimes seems crazy, right? Well, don't worry. I know where he hides that awful thing of his. So let's run away together. You can leave it all to me. Everything will be all right. 20th January from W to J My prince, please don't worry. I'll do anything for you. Just pledge your love for me, that's all I ask. 27th January from W to J Thank you, my eternal prince. Tomorrow night I shall unlock your shackles. Let us live together forever. Everlasting, true love, I am yours. What the hell is going on? It said that the teddy bear was Wendy, right? Oh, not this again. Fucking hell. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, I'd... give me the teddy bear. Like, fall down, man. Alright, well, what's on this? Nothing. Chest? Okay, blanket. Yeah, sure, let's look under the blanket. A boy's shirt, pants, and shoes have been neatly laid out on the bed. For some reason, Jennifer felt a sudden pain in her chest. Oh. So she... is Wendy, maybe, in the story. Oh god. Like, I'm trying to look at the chest, and it just won't let me. Okay, whatever. In the trash can. Nope. Oh! Oh, the teddy bear fell again. Here we go. Is the key inside it? That would make sense. It's got a green ribbon tied around its neck. Right then, the trapped unlucky girl heard a gentle voice. It... I came, just like I promised. It, oh, shit. Stay right there, I'll help you out. I, I missed the fucking thing. Um, what the fuck? I'm not holding the controller. What are you doing, Jennifer? Why did you do that? What? Let me out! What's that girl's name? I can't even remember. Is she Wendy? I can't remember. Wendy, let me out. Am I free yet? Nope. Hmm. So these are the letters. The bear in distress. Oh, Joshua was the bear. Right. So, yeah, I'm so confused. Who is who? What is what? What is life? When is that girl coming to rescue me? Ah, here we go. Took you long enough, damn it. Jennifer, I unlocked the door. I'll keep a lookout, so come right away. Yeah, it took you long enough, mate. Let's go. Basement. Wait, where the hell is she? She's not here. Damn, creepy girl. This is very surreal, what's going on right now. I've got no idea. Oh shit, you fucking scared my damn head off, man. Alright guys, um, I'm actually gonna call it here. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking that things are getting a little bit strange and I'm just out of time for this episode, so... I will see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload, so you guys stay tuned for more.